Hello guys, welcome back to Granny Goose. And in today's video, we have every single Mr. Beast product, mm -hmm. except for the D's Nuts bar, the Quinoa Crunch bar, and his original cookies. Because those weren't available at our Walmart, of course, like normal, because everything we try to make for a video is never at our Walmart. But we have most of them. We have both flavors of Carl's gummies. I'm looking forward to those. We have original chocolate, milk chocolate. Oh, I forgot to mention we don't have the milk chocolate crunch. Mm -hmm. Chocolate sea salt, and then almond chocolate. All right, <laughs> I, and also peanut butter cookies. We don't have the OGs. We couldn't find those. All right, move everything away. We'll start with the original Mr. Beast bar. Are you excited? Well, I love chocolate, so. This is dark chocolate, so. I know, It's I lactose free. Um, I actually like milk chocolate, so if my ratings are horrible, that's not because it's bad, just because I don't like dark chocolate much. But uh, yeah. You need help? No, I just don't want to tear up the wrapping because it's so nice looking. <laughs> All right, let's see if the share is at the top because most of the time it's always down here. All right, we are going to take out the first original Beast Bar. Hey, it's at the, at the top. top. All right, don't, don't so this is what the whole, this is what the bar looks like. We're gonna take our share piece. Okay. And then we're gonna share the share. Smallest. All right. Okay. She wants that one. I will put the rest of the Beast Bar back in the wrapper. Ready. All right. Mr. Beast Original Dark Chocolate. It is dark. Good snap. Snap dust. That's a good snap. Mm -hmm. I know chocolate's good. It's dark chocolate. Mm -hmm. Like eating dirt. No. no, it's not like eating dirt. Mm -mm. He doesn't like dark chocolate. He absolutely despises dark chocolate. That's right. Good. Are we rating them on a it's, scale? Yeah, one to ten. It's good. Seven. It's good. Mm, six and a half. I am not much of a dark chocolate fan. But out of the dark chocolates, I think it's pretty good. I'm going to save this for later because I want to get this video rolling. Palette cleanser. Milk next. Milk chocolate. Mm -hmm. Let's see if the share is at the top this time. All right. We're going to pull it. Hey. Smells like milk chocolate. This is my favorite bar. <laughs> As he sticks his nose in it. All right, is it at the top? No! All right, that means we have to pull the bar out. Well, you pulled the bar out last time when you had to. Mmm, good snap. That's a very good snap. I'm gonna give you. No. How much do you want? Not much. All right, just that little piece. This yes. one? Mm -hmm. All right, this is her piece. Where to my piece? Because I'm a milk chocolate fanatic. Fanatic, exactly. Mm -hmm. I. If it has Whoa. sugar in it, he's eating it. Except if it's dark chocolate. Yeah, you would prefer not. I've seen you be desperate and try it anyway when you were desperate for chocolate. <laughs> All right. I mean, it's that compared to the dark chocolate, you mm -hmm. can easily tell the difference in color. This mm -hmm. one's the dark, this one's the milk. The milk chocolate is the way to go. Milk? This milk chocolate Mr. Beast bar. Mmm, that's good. You want some? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. It's very good. It's creamy. Creamy. <laughs> creamy. Now he's going to eat the milk chocolate. Mm. What do you think? That's a good seven, too, because I like both of them. I like dark and milk. 7.5. I'll give it a 7.5. It's a different milk taste. It's yeah, got a hint of milk. Taste to it. mm -hmm. But it's still good. It's better than the dark chocolate, all the way. Mm -hmm. I will give it. What isn't it only the made with? The canal is better than dark chocolate. Yeah, that <laughs> for, for only have five ingredients. That is pretty That's darn good. That's what I was going to tell Daddy. That listen, it only has five ingredients. It'd be better if it had a sixth ingredient. Flavor. It does have flavor. 
Dark Shadow only has four. That's the only one with four. Um, so, yeah, now we are going to try Chocolate Seashell. Oh, I forgot my rating. Ten out of ten. And she gives it seven out of five. He's, he's so got, mean. He's just got to do that. Okay. All right, Mr. Beast, sea salt. Let's go. I've had this before. Some pieces are regular dark chocolate, and then some pieces are filled to the blows with salt. I got a question for you. Can you see salt? <laughs> Can you see the salt? Oh, it was not done. No. Oh. You can obviously tell Ready? it's the dark chocolate. I only want Ooh. a little bit. How about we just split the share in half? Okay, we're going to do all of that. All right, here you go. You get the bigger piece this time. <laughs> all right, I have the shh part, and she has the air. Shh, air. I'm going to continue to separate the buns. <laughs> we can pepper us with buns. Why is it hot? It's been on this hot stove when we cooked your pizza. Oh, yeah, we had pizza for dinner. It's hot. This is technically dessert. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, I can see the salt. No, you cannot. I actually kind of see can. the salt. <laughs> you can smell the dark chocolate mm -hmm. in the end. Yes, I smell the dark chocolate. All, All right. right, here we go. Chocolate mm. sea salt. Good show. Mm. I just taste dark chocolate. Oh, there's the salt. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's salt. Mm -hmm. It's like big chunks of salt in there. Mm hmm. And it gives it that. Um, yeah, you can see the chunk of salt right there. Mm -hmm. And it, the funny thing is, salt enhances the sweet flavor. There's the salt right to the right of my finger. That's why sometimes she'll be baking and they'll ask you to put salt in your recipe. And you're thinking, but this is supposed to be a sweet dessert. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's why the whole thing, besides, that's the only dark chocolate that I've actually mm -hmm. eaten all the way. But you do get that pop of salt in there. Mm. You like it? Is it better than just a plain? Mm -hmm. It's better than I think, it's, I think it's probably better than the plain. Oh, I give it an 8. 8.2. 8.26. 8. <laughs> 8.26. Alright, mine's between the milk. Well, I still like the milk. 6.5. Alright. 6.5. It's good. Mm -hmm. but It's better than the OG. But it's just too darky for the milky. <laughs> All right. Because it last, doesn't have as much sugar. The last chocolate bar one we have is almond chocolate. Again, we didn't have, have quinoa or these nuts. Or the um milk, milk crunch, which I all like those. Milk crunch is good. That is very it good. It is good. If I so see that oh. at the store, that in milk chocolate I am buying. Those are his favorites. Because mm -hmm. I'm a milk guy. I got it. Don't worry. All right, let's see. Is the share at the top? Or was it just the original because it's the special boy? No! You've only had one share at the Jimmy, top. Jimmy, why did you do this? But you can definitely clearly see the almond right here, which is cool because, you know, they're not faking it. Oh, Ooh. clean snap. Oh, you can it's even... Not a clean snap. Well, it sounded... Cool. It's a... Yeah. You can see the almonds in okay. the... Chocolate. Now, what's the base of the chocolate? Is it dark chocolate or it's dark? It's, it's dark, dark chocolate. chocolate. Everything except milk, milk chocolate, chocolate and, and milk nuts. chocolate and these. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. These nuts, milk chocolate, yep. obviously, and then the milk chocolate crunch. All right, almond. Mm-hmm. I can definitely taste the almond. Mmm, that's good. That's better than the sea salt. Mm -hmm. I like this one better mm -hmm. than the sea salt. Yep. So for and me, the almonds aren't overpowering. Like, right. you know, sometimes in some chocolate bars that mm -hmm. are very popular, like it's the cheese. whole almond, the whole almond is in there and it kind of can hurt your teeth. Yeah. So this is better because it's just, it's chopped up mm -hmm. into little chunks. Um, so my rating for this one is a solid nine out of 10. So it goes milk chocolate, this one, the almond, mm -hmm. sea salt, and then the original. I mean, it's not that it's bad. Same for the prime. It's not that it's bad. It's just they're so not many, as good as the other. Good they're ones. better ones <laughs> that just beat it out. I, I agree with your ratings. Um, milk chocolate's classic, mm -hmm. and then this one is really good. It's amazing how the almonds tone down the dark chocolate so much. Yes, that's why this is number two. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, the salt. I mean, my rating would be a solid eight. Mm, same. Mm -hmm. But this is just a nine. The salt on sea salt was a little too overpowering for me. If I see that at the store, I'm not picking that one up. But that's the only thing there I won't cry. So. <laughs> right, palate cleanser. Yay. Mm -hmm. Oh, this one's breaking. That's fine. You're not as cooperative. <sighs> Get back in there. All right. Next, we're going to do peanut butter chocolate chip cookies. This was their second brand of cookies along with the original cookies. Yeah. I have so much chocolate on my arm. <laughs> it looks like I have freckles now. <laughs> Did someone leave their glasses? Yes. That was probably Addie. Addie. Okay, so we have, what's in here? Peanut butter, chocolate. So it's technically these nuts, just cookies. Okay. Because peanut butter, chocolate. That's what these nuts is. It's plant-based, it's gluten-free. All right, let's crack one of them. All right, we are gonna actually cut one in half. Mm -hmm. We don't wanna oh, Over, there is, overindulge. There is, I think the original cookies are have coconut in them, mm -hmm. which is cool. So they're, they're not large. No, they're not. They're a nice bite size, like two bite size. Yeah. Two bites, it's a two biter. 130 calories per serving and there's six servings, wow. Serving size, two cookies. So, all right. This is the inside. So, that's kind of the chocolate mm -hmm. chip inside. I just smashed Here. that chocolate chip. All right. Cheers. Three, two, one. Peanut butter. Mm. Oh, yeah. You can taste the coconut. Like, you can feel the consistency. The only problem I have with this... Coconut oil. ...is it's a little dry. Mm -hmm. If you don't get in milk, you have the perfect cookie. Oh, yeah. If you don't get in milk... Mm. The, peanut, mean, the peanut butter is not overpowering. Right. Which is good because mm -hmm. I am one of those people who absolutely despise a peanut butter. And you might think I'm weird. Mm -hmm. I tried a spoonful. It was way too peanut buttery. Even the creamy one is just downright awful. I mean, no hate to the people that make the peanut butter. It's just that, that it's not right for my taste buds. But because it has chocolate, just like Reese's. Well, we don't talk about Reese's. We talk about these nuts. Mm -hmm. Um... It's good. Mm -hmm. Just like those peanut butter cookies that mm -hmm. with Hershey's that we make at Christmas. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's, yeah, it's not quite as peanut buttery as the Some. peanut, like, you know, those peanut butter cookies with the kiss on the top. Yeah. It's not that peanut buttery. Mm -hmm. It's got a hint of peanut butter and a nice blast of chocolate and mm -hmm. it's good. It's good. I would eat those. Mm -hmm. right. I like blender. Definitely. Feastables Carl Gummies. Um, only five grams of sugar per serving, and they're four servings. Mm -hmm. so that's only twenty grams of sugar, so and they are pieces, yeah. and they're plant based. So, um, ripping it open. Yeah, that's what we do here Blue on Granny Goose. We rip things up. Ah, smell. Blue Smells raspberry. Good. That's. That sounds familiar from the Prime video. I actually have some in my mini fridge over there. Mm. Um, only 90 milligrams of sodium. Wow. Okay. All right. Carl gummies, they're kind of gooey, but that's what you want from a gummy. All right, what's stamped on them? The Carl logo. Okay. Which is that logo right there. It's the infamous Carl logo. If you know Carl's Minecraft, you know that's on his Minecraft skin. It's his infamous logo. Here we go. Mmm. It's got a like a sugary outside. That is so good. Mm-hmm. I'm in love. But I'm, I'm not chewing. As I roll it around in my mouth, the outside sugar covering comes right oh, off. God. And it gets, you know, that softness. I mean. And then after you get that sugar covering off, you get a hint of sour. I know this is Cheetos' this quote, but it's finger looking good. <laughs> I mean, I've had those before. Those are good. 
I know it sounds mm-hmm. like I'm faking it because they're all good for Jimmy. I like, but the, I like the fact that they're big. Yes, they're big. And there might not be a lot in here, but they're big. And mm-hmm. they're decent size. They're not like tiny gummies. Mm-mm. And then they're only filled to here. They're filled to here, but they're big gummies. Mm-hmm. So, all right, that's so why that there's some raspberry. Now, sour green apple. Okay. All right. Oh, we just rip it open. <laughs> oh. Oh, that has a weirder smell than the other one. Oh, you can smell the sour. Here we go. <laughs> oh, it's green. This was in... It says green apple. I know, but it says um, these were actually featured... I mean, like, when they were in Mr. Beast's short, where Carl went to the moon with green screen, these were the ones that dropped on the moon, which is cool. All right, sour green apple. Here we go. Hmm. I like the other one. Same coating. Mm-hmm. But you're getting the sour right away. They're good. And then it's getting very sour now that I've sucked off all the outside sugar coating. I mean, I've already inhaled it, so. Gummy candy made with natural flavors. Mm-hmm. Funny thing, I never use my palate cleanser, but I can definitely tell the differences mm-hmm. in these. That one has the sour. If you mm-hmm. you are a sour fan, that this has is the sour. one to go. Mm-hmm. But if you like some of your sweet stuff, go with this one. I personally picked this one over this one, but it's not that I hate this one. This one is a solid nine point mm-hmm. six. Mm-hmm. They're they're both very good. Yes, good job, Carl and the Feastable Steam. They did a good job on the gummies. Yes. All right, now it's time for the final ratings by combining all of these in all together. Like, what are you gonna pick if you go to the store? Yes. So oh. we are gonna start with the candy bar ratings. Okay, so put the candy bars in the order all right. we had them. Milk chocolate all the way, right? And then it was chocolate almond. And then it was almond chocolate, sea salt chocolate, and then the original chocolate. And, and then now, these were in this order. Yeah, so I'm going to put these tied with the milk chocolate. And I'm going to put these a little in front. So it's kind of like this. Okay. Because this is just so close. This is a 9.6. This is just a fat 9. And then cookies. What did I rate these? Like an 8.6? No, I don't know. What I was you like were. a 9 point something. I don't so know, but you liked them. Anywhere in like this range. So these are the final ratings. Starting with almond chocolate, sea salt, this. Then we, I'm going to go with these. So what, what are we here. missing? The milk chocolate crunch? Milk chocolate crunch. So you know that's nuts. going up here. Yes. Milk that's chocolate crunch. Here. And these nuts are going up here. And then quinoa crunch is probably going to go somewhere down somewhere here. Somewhere down here. But I guarantee you, I'd put the milk chocolate crunch. Because I like yes, the crunch right aspect here. above the plain mm-hmm. milk chocolate. And then we have sour green apple. And then these two are tied. Mm-hmm. All right. Thank you for watching. Question. Do you think, comment down below, are they going to come up with another Cara flavor? Maybe. Are they going to make something for Chandler? Like cherry? Are they going to make something for Chandler? Like a cherry lime? Are they going to make something for Chris? Um, for Chandler? What is going to come up next? Feastables, I really enjoy your products. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Also, go subscribe to Mr. Beast if you're not and already. And tell us your thoughts. What, do you, what would you rank? Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Until next time. Good game, guys.